Hey everyone, it's early Saturday morning as I record this, and this is a live look at cryptocurrency prices. And as you can see, there's a sea of red. Looks like Bitcoin's down almost 16% over the last 24 hours. Overall, this is coin market cap. They add up the entire market cap of all the cryptocurrencies out there. And it comes to $2.23 trillion, which sounds like a lot, doesn't it? But I guess most of that market cap is Bitcoin and Ethereum. In any event, it's down almost 15% over the last 24 hours. So if this holds these price levels on crypto, it looks like there might be some bargains in the crypto space on Monday. And there are three names that appeared on our top 10 on Friday that are crypto names. These are the top 10. This is a image from our website, but these are also available on our iPhone app. And what we do is basically every day the market's open, Portfolio Armor runs through thousands of stocks and ETFs, and it estimates potential returns over the next six months based on its gauge of options market and stock market sentiment. And these potential returns are high-end estimates. So if you look in the little paragraph above the table here, it says historically actual returns have averaged about 0.2976, about 0.3 or 30% of these actual returns. The reason why they're high-end estimates is because it gives us a guide of where to cap collars when we're, when, we're, when we're hedging. But let's go ahead and look at what we have here, the, the three that are crypto names. The first one is number three, Marathon Digital Holdings. That's a Bitcoin miner. And the second one is MicroStrategy. That's a software company run by Michael Saylor, who's a huge Bitcoin evangelist. And he's just been adding Bitcoin to his balance sheet for for at least a couple of years. And over the summer, he had a junk bond offering and he used the cash from that to buy Bitcoin. So he's got a ton of Bitcoin. And then the third one here is Coinbase. Coinbase Global, which is kind of a retail hub for trading crypto. And that came went public in last spring and I believe it was at over $300 a share. So it's already at a discount from its IPO price. All these, I think, were down uh, fairly significantly on Friday. And it's, it's possible they'll be down more on Monday. So they might be bargains here. If, assuming you think crypto is going to recover in the next few months. And... In any case, you might want to hedge in case it goes down lower. So let's look at hedging each of these. And because we're going to cover three different stocks here, we'll just be really quick about, we'll use the same parameters. We'll try the same parameters for all three. So let's go ahead and start with Marathon Digital. And to do that, we'll open up the portfolio on our iPhone app. And we'll type in the symbol, which is just M-A-R-A. And the number of shares, we'll put 100 for this example. And threshold, again, is the maximum decline that you're willing to risk. And it says we can enter it as a percentage or a dollar amount, but the default, if you just put in a number without a symbol, is it's going to recognize it as a percentage. Let's try 25%. And then for time to expiration, we'll stick with our default, which goes out approximately six months out. And no optimal put is available given the parameters you entered and that cost exceeds threshold. So we can try one of two things here. The first is we can go to a shorter time expiration. So let's say we went out January, February, March, we went out three months and same issue. So we'll go back to our default and we'll try capping this at 25%. And let's see what we have. We tap find optimal hedge. 
And this time we are presented with an optimal collar hedge. And it looks like the net cost of this is negative $505, which means you would collect a net credit of $505 when opening this hedge or 12.13% of position value. And to be conservative, this hedging cost was calculated using the ask price of the puts and the bid price of the calls. In reality, you'd probably be able to buy the puts at some price between the bid and ask and sell the calls at some price between the bid and ask. So in reality, you'd probably collect more than 505 as a, as a net credit. But if you take that net hedging cost of negative 12.13% and you add it to the 25% cap, you're looking at 35%, uh, actually 37% upside over the next several months versus a 25% downside potential. But more importantly here, if crypto goes lower and Marathon Digital goes lower along with it, most likely you're going to be able to close out the cap, the upside cap here, by buying to close these calls for much less if it goes down significantly. So that's that's a possible course of action for you if, um, if you hedge this way. Let's go ahead and look at the next one, which was MicroStrategy. The symbol for that one is MSTR. To be honest, the first time this appeared on our screens last year, I assumed it was Monster, like Monster Energy or something. But no, this is MicroStrategy. And same issue. Unable to hedge it, too expensive. Uh, not entirely surprising given what's been happening in crypto and the market in general and also the spike in volatility. So we'll do the same thing here. We'll try capping it at 25%. And again, we are presented with an optimal collar hedge. And let's look at the cost here. This also has a negative hedging cost. Here... Your net credit would be five thousand four hundred sixty dollars. Again, assuming you're you're buying, you're placing both trades at the worst ends of their respective spreads, and your net cost would be negative eight point six five percent. So again, more upside than downside here if you add the eight point six five percent net credit to your twenty five percent cap. You're looking at uh, roughly 33, 34% upside versus 25% downside. And you can play around with these. You can use try different parameters to see what you get. But let's look at the last one. And that was Coinbase. So the symbol for Coinbase is coin. C-O-I-N. And probably we're not going to... Oh, no. This is surprising. I thought we weren't going to be able to find an optimal put hedge, but here we did. The initial cost is 12.99% of position value, or $3,450. Again, calculated at the ask. And let's see what it looks like if we try to cap it at 25%. And here we've got a negative cost collar or net credit collar again in this case your net cost would be negative eight hundred dollars which means you'd have a net credit of eight hundred or three percent of position value so again you can try out different times to expirations see what looks more attractive to you if you think this correction is going to be resolved one way or another in the next few months you could see you're still able to get a negative cost here on the collar with coin over that time frame. Let's try and see what the optimal puts look like over the next three months. Remember, going out to December it was about 13% of position value. So you can see it's down to 7.19%. So a few things to consider if uh, you're looking to bargain hunt in the wake of this crypto, this latest crypto crash. All right, good luck, everyone.